Have you ever wondered if there were identical people in this world, twins, if it were, and one went one way and one went another, how differently things could turn out? Well, my next guests seek to answer that very question. Matter of fact, they kind of do that for a living. But one particular experiment is of interest, I believe, to the exam room listeners, and that is one went vegan, one didn't. What happened? And to get the answers, we welcome Hugo and Ross Turner, known as the Turner Twins, to the exam room. Gentlemen, thank you so very much for taking the time. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having us. I, I'm just fascinated. When I stumbled across your story in Men's Health, was just blown away and wondered why somebody hadn't done this any sooner. Um, but before we, we talk about that, I think that we need to talk about you guys because beyond just this experiment, you guys are fascinating individuals because you are you are professional explorers. Like your job is to go out and to see the world, isn't it? Yeah, it is. yeah, absolutely. We're um, amazingly fortunate to have um, some amazing brand partners that um, help us go and you know, go into the far reaches of, uh, of the world and and go and have fun together. Um, you know, we're all about discovering something new. So whether that's geographical. Um, doing something interesting that's ever been done or, you know, trying to find out how our bodies, you know, differ under circum under different circumstances, you know, like vegan, like me, um, and doing all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we're kind of quite curious at the heart of us, but, you know, we do love to just go around having fun, go and travel, and, uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, what we're doing inspires some people to change the way they do things or, you know, look at the world slightly differently. Let's talk about the experiment. Uh, but first, you know what? I'd be remiss. We haven't even figured out who's who yet on the show. So he was, <laughs> who, who is who? Gentlemen, help me out here. Um, Ross and Hugo. I don't know which okay. way around your computer's seeing it, but yeah. Um, how, how old are you guys right now? You're still very young, 31. right? 31. 31. What, what made you guys want to study eating meat versus a plant-based diet and how that would affect performance? What piqued your interest in that? Well, I think, you know, as we were saying just before we started this video, you know, the game changes. There's a lot of uh, conversations at the moment going on about, you know, what is better for you um, from a health perspective, from a, a, you know, all aspects of health to mental, physical, um, and, you know, the training we do to go on our expeditions uh, can be brutal sometimes. But, you know, it got us thinking, you know, during our expeditions, when we go exploring the world, we have a lot of um, research and scientists that um, to study our bodies and see how our bodies differ in those particular environments. And, you know, having watched Game Changers, having watched What the Health and all these kind of foodie programs and it got us thinking, well, actually, what a brilliant opportunity. We're twins and we can, do the, yeah, we can do vegan versus meat. A meat diet, have a 12-week training program that started the 1st of January 2020, went on to the end of March. And it was really a case of training program straight after Christmas. We've had exactly the same, I guess, approach into that, that, that program because we were with each other over Christmas. Um, massively unfit over boozed overeaten but a perfect kind of you know baseline and so we tossed the coin for it uh, i i got the vegan ross got the meat. the meat and we did a 12-week training program to bring us back up to expedition fitness and we just wanted to see what the effects would be so we had um all our body stats taken uh, at the gym um, in London before, during, and after. And we also had a team at King's College London's Department of Twin Research, which is a huge faculty um, for research of twins. They get loads of twins in and doing all the time. And they just look at various aspects of research using twins. And um, so we could get all the, we got, do we get bloods or is looking yeah, at the gut, we, gut bacteria yeah. and things like that. And yeah, the results were amazing. What were your expectations heading in? I, I mean, Ross, were you kind of breathing a sigh of relief that you didn't, you know, get that vegan card here that you flipped the coin and you can continue eating meat? Or were you kind of like, oh man, I really wish I had that vegan thing? I was a little gutted that I didn't get a vegan. Um, Cause you know, you watch all these, as I said, you watch all these documentaries on Netflix, particularly Game Changers, and it really does make you go, am I, you know, should we all be doing this? And so I, I really wanted to feel the effects of what truly going vegan is i've never done um a truly vegan diet i've done kind of vegetarian a little bit um so yeah meat i was kind of okay with 
Um, I think we both knew that we were kind of getting back into expedition fitness anyway. So we were starting from base level. We were working together. Um, I think the most, um, the weirdest thing for us is that we just were starting to uncover so many different opinions from so many different people. They'd all watch Game Changers again um, and all these different um, vegan books and online reviews um, and interviews. And there's just, there's no one single way of doing different diets to improve different things. There's just so many variables. So it was going to be, it was really interesting for us to um, follow our journey from week one to week 12 and see the differences through the body, physically, through our emotions, through Hugo's um, kind of, I say, hormone levels, and then obviously getting the blood results back at the end of it and really going, wow, you know, that was, that was quite a cool, cool test. And obviously it's proved very popular online. And Hugo, what were you expecting as far as what would happen to your body composition, your muscles, your energy level, all of that? Were you expecting that to decrease based off of, you know, I guess just a, a gut feeling? Or were you expecting improvements based off of the documentaries and the literature that you had read? Well, I guess my perception was that vegans can't get all the calories or as much of the calories as they need or want because they're not eating, you know, the dairies, the meats, all that kind of stuff. So my immediate perception was, well, I'm going to drop a lot of weight because I can't eat as many calories per day. But, um, and, you know, I thought my energy levels were going to be, you know, way low. Um, my motivation mentally to go to the gym with those two factors in mind would have been really low. And it was actually not the case at all. You know, okay. The transition from a Christmas diet, you know, cold Turkey, it should be really like cold cucumber or something. Shouldn't it? I can't eat cold, <laughs> cold, cold, cold. But, you know, that very, very abrupt um, transition from, you know, a very wide, you know, huge variety of, of diet to a vegan, um, suddenly, you know, the first couple of weeks are very, very difficult. Um, you know, I, I did find my body quite, um, it was very, very tired. Um, I didn't have very much energy. I wasn't very motivated. Um, but after those two weeks, went past and suddenly your body realizes what's happening and it's adjusting then i suddenly had a load more energy and a hell of a lot more energy all throughout the day so on a usual diet uh i would you know have a an afternoon you know uh i just feel tired in the afternoon whatever maybe that's my snacking style but i definitely feel tired and you get a lot of, a lot more peaks and troughs and then on the vegan my my kind of energy levels just, yeah, so you see, and leveled off. And, you know, I'd, I'd have a lot more energy going to the gym. I felt a lot more motivated for that. Um, I did lose about four kilos of body fat because it's in the, in the first probably month. But I think that was, that was my body react, overreacting to what was going on. Um, and obviously starting a gym, gym routine as well as vegan, that was a very, very, big change for my body so that reaction um if we went back to it i would imagine probably i probably wouldn't lose as much weight in the first few weeks but you know on the whole it was a really really impressive the amount of energy you can get just from plant and ross uh, i guess that you then you would have those afternoon crashes like your brother was talking about still eating that traditional diet yeah yeah like my traditional meat diet didn't really vary too much we were getting our food from um, Mindful Chef, which is a UK-based company that you say what meals you want during the day. So we're getting exactly the same calories, but obviously just from different food profiles. Um, but yeah, my, my energy during the, the day and during the week was pretty standard. It was have a coffee in the morning, obviously breakfast, have that spike of sugar, and then come down. You know, that sugar low, 11 o'clock, you need another coffee or a tea, maybe a, a biscuit or a snack. And it, yeah, just ebbing and flowing up and down all day. Not hugely. Some days were worse than others, particularly if I was having kind of dark chocolates or chocolate in general. Um, and Hugo's was far more satiated, which was probably one of the biggest take homes we had is a vegan diet is very much more stable in terms of um, sugar delivery during the day. Whereas a meat is, uh, you know, you get the ups and downs, which was really interesting. So you say that the caloric uh, balance was, was right about there. Was there less fat in the plant-based diet versus the traditional diet? Yes, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, Hugo was eating um, a fair few nuts um, on, his, on his vegan diet, 
but yeah, I was having butters, cheeses, things like that, and obviously fattier meats. So I'd probably say generally I was a little bit higher, 20, 30% higher in fat. Now, Ross, when this thing is going, I'm assuming compared to previous trainings that you have been through, your muscles were about the same, like your strength level was status quo, correct? Yeah, yeah. And um, we were, we like to start all our um, experiments off and expeditions off pretty much at the same weight, because um, then you get rid of any bias. And um, we were both around 84, um, sorry, 84? Yeah, 84 kilos to 85 kilos, roughly within a kilo of each other. Did you find it was easy to maintain your muscle mass, even gain some uh, this go around on the plant-based diet? Let me shift over to your brother here. Right. Uh, I was about just over 84 kilos um, when I started. I dropped within the first three weeks to, um, yeah, about four kilos of fat. So my ma muscle mass was about 69 and a half. Um, and that kind of stayed rough. Steady. Yeah, stayed steady, but I couldn't put any on. But you on the meat, you... Yeah, I, I managed to gain about four kilos of muscle mass. So as Hugo was staying level at around 70 kilos, I went from 71 and a half kilos of muscle mass to 75. Hugo, even though you weren't really putting on muscle, did you feel physically weaker in any sense? No, I mean, okay, forget about the first two weeks when your body's adjusting and obviously getting used to the routine of going to the gym. Post those two weeks, I felt fantastic. I really felt really good, loads of energy. Did I feel weak? No, I actually had, you know, it's, it's how much energy you want to put into your exercise. And I had loads of positive mental energy going in so you were, I you were lift, we were lifting exactly the same um daily during our gym routine so that's probably another a key point is that we were lifting identical weights and doing exactly the same reps so there, there wasn't any kind of special treatment for kind of feeling rubbish or kind of one vegan exercise and one meat exercise it was exactly the same so i did have a lot of moments on my meat diet where i was like I'm really not feeling great. Another uh, a big component of a plant-based diet when it comes to fitness uh, is the recovery time and, and even a lack of soreness for a lot of people. Did you find um, that you were able to, uh, Hugo, uh, recover a lot quicker, maybe a little bit less sore after a particularly intense workout? I have back issues. I broke my neck when I was 17, which is, I guess, why we go and do all these crazy expeditions and things like that. Um, so I've always had issues with my back. So I fractured my neck, but the, all the resulting vertebra below have kind of somehow been adjusting over time um, detrimentally for the compensation of my weak neck. So um, having done the exercise, having done the training program, being on the vegan diet, I didn't really have much in the way of, you know, aches and pains, I have to say, mm. which I usually do. I usually have very stiff lower back. You didn't, and I would say generally overall, your performance in the gym was far better. I would be a little moany and going, you know, I don't have the energy, or I'm yeah. sore, or I can't be bothered. Whereas you were always sparky and going, yeah, I'm fine. That's Ross, <laughs> is this something you would consider, you know, doing yourself for 12 weeks, maybe a little bit longer? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think from the results that we found across our bloods, across the weight, across cholesterol, across from you know, even down to just how we generally felt day to day, we're definitely going to merge the benefits of the vegan diet and the benefits of the meat diet. Um, so yeah, it's definitely something we're taking forward. And that's what we like about doing these tests or comparisons, because um, we're identical twins, is being able to compare, look back and go, what did we learn? Okay, let's take the best bits from both and move forward. I think um, we're not going to go totally both vegan, just because on an expedition, it's very hard to go vegan. Um, if you're going to see Inuit in Greenland or staying with them, there is no vegan option. Um, it's either eat well or kind of go hungry. Um, and that's really important for us with our training back in the UK is that our bodies are prepared physically and obviously nutritionally. So when we get out there, we're performing at our best. Um, and that's the only reason why we're not kind of going both vegan. So that's why we're mixing the two. We can follow that on Twitter at the Turner Twins on Instagram at the Turner Twins, but with two eyes there. Interesting. Uh, and then uh, the Turner Twins .co .uk is the website. We're going to put links to all of those in the episode notes for you, gentlemen. Uh, Hugo and Ross Turner, you guys are just amazing. Thank you so very much for taking the time today. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks so much.
If you like that interview and you want more of it, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Leave a nice comment below. And for the full interview, also head over to Apple Podcast and subscribe to the Exam Room Podcast by the Physicians Committee. New episodes with information and inspiration each and every Wednesday.